हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस आर एन नॉलेज सेंटर आई एम चंद्रवान शर्मा टूडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक मिनरल्स लुक एट दिस पाई चार्ट वाट डू यू ऑब्जर्व वी ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर वेरियस एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द अर्थ क्रस्ट लाइक ऑक्सीजन सिलीकन एल्यूमिनियम आयरन पोटासियम कैल्शियम सोडियम एंड मैग्नीशियम वाइल सम अदर डेफिशियंट एलिमेंट्स आर टिटानियम हाइड्रोजन फॉस्फरस सल्फर कार्बन एंड निकल द अर्थ इज कम्पोज ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स मैनी एलिमेंट्स आर फाउंड इन कॉम्बिनेशन विद अदर एलिमेंट्स दीज सब्सटेंस आर कॉल्ड मिनरल्स सो वाट आर मिनरल्स मिनरल्स आर सब्सटेंस दैट आर फाउंड Naturally in the earth, minerals are usually solid, inorganic, having an atomic structure and formed by naturally by geological processes with a definite chemical composition and physical properties. A mineral can be made up of a single chemical element or more, usually a compound. For example, gold and iron are of single chemical elements. while on the other hand water and sodium chloride are the example of compounds now look at this flow chart here we observe minerals are classified into three parts and they are metallic minerals non metallic minerals and energy minerals so what are metallic minerals metallic minerals refers to minerals that comprise of metals in raw forms the raw forms of minerals are called ores we get the metals from the mineral ores for example iron from iron ore aluminum from oxide etc metallic minerals can further be divided into ferrous non ferrous and precious metals so what are ferrous and non ferrous metals or we can say what's the difference between ferrous and non ferrous metal the simple answer is that ferrous metal contains iron and non ferrous metal do not that means each type of ferrous and non ferrous metal has different qualities and uses ferrous metals ferrous metals are metals that consist of mostly of iron and a small amount of other elements these metals are prone to rusting if exposed to moisture they are having magnetic properties so the rusting and magnetic properties in ferrous metals are both due to iron for example iron cobalt and nickel they are the example of ferrous metal non ferrous metals a non ferrous metal can be described as any metals including alloys that do not contain iron they are generally more expensive than ferrous metals non ferrous metals are used because of desirable properties such as number 1 low weight for example aluminum number 2 higher conductivity for example copper number 3 non magnetic property and resistance to corrosion for example zinc precious metals they are rare they are naturally occurring metallic chemical of high economic values chemically they the precious metals tend to be less reactive than most elements they are usually ductile and have a luster historically precious metals are were important as currency but are now regarded mainly as investment and industrial commodities for example gold silver platinum etc in next video we will discussing about non metallic minerals and mode of occurrence of the mineral student if you like the video share subscribe and comment on it thank you